I'm in the creepiest parking lot ever. <gasps> Okay, so right now we're gonna be going into five stores, picking out the shorts, trying them on, then comparing and testing. The goal is to find the best shorts. Jean shorts are literally my enemy. So let's go find my ally. Oh my god, okay, let's just go. <laughs> okay, so the first stop is Levi's. I found two pairs of shorts. Or well they're the same, they're the same short. They're just different sizes because I have no idea what size I am. I haven't tried on pants in forever. I think I'm like a 27 or a 26, but we'll see. Anyway, so I'm gonna try these on. I'm not sure how I feel. Like, oh my god, there's a help button, and I just like accidentally flashed my whole entire boob because I was pulling it up. Ah. Oh my god, Fiona. These are so much better. Like, they're actually, they're flattering. They're doing something. Okay, so I'm now in PacSun, and I am trying on... These are like more like gray black ones because I feel like everyone needs a black pair and I also really like black if you if you can't tell. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to try these on. Hopefully they're fit nice cuz they're not a bad price, but jean shorts are really expensive. I was like, what the I just met one of my subscribers in Hollister. She was so sweet. Um anyways, so we have four down. One more to go. I don't know where to go. Okay, so I'm finally done. Okay, so I'm now back from the mall. All the bags are right back there. We got five shorts to try on. Let's hope we find our dream short. I'm gonna be rating them one out of 10, 10 obviously being the best. We're gonna be doing a sit test to see how they look sitting. And of course, a little twirl. First place I went to was Levi's, so we're gonna start off with the Levi's. The overpriced Levi's. These were a whopping 70 fucking dollars. Okay, I need to like figure out how to change so like no one sees me because I live right next to a parking lot. Guys, I'm on my period. What if I'm bleeding? Y'all, I actually like really, really like these. They're very flattering. I think they're a little tight on me. These are a size 25. I could have got a slightly bigger size, but they didn't have any. I love the back. The back is everything. They're a great length. I can still do a little squatty sit with them. Comfortable. They're a nice wash. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give them like an eight or a nine. I, ugh, I'm a Libra, I'm indecisive. Uh, I'll give it a nine. I'm currently filming in just underwear and I feel like it's weird. Anyways, next I went into the lovely Pac Sun. I was really tempted to buy other stuff, but I made it out with the shorts. These were $21. That's more reasonable. They're black. I personally think these are less flattering. I don't know. I, I like them. They're really comfortable. They're like loose on the bottom, but they're not loose here, which I don't love. Um, these are also, I believe, a 25. Yeah, these are also a 25. I mean, you can judge for yourself, obviously, like if you think these would look good on you. I don't know. I I'm like in the middle about these. I feel like they're a solid like six and a half. Next up, American Eagle. So I walked in, I asked the girl, I was like, what are your favorite shorts? What are the best sellers? She was like, these by far. So I picked them up. They actually look quality. I got these in a 427 wide and they were, they were 49. Okay, so these, I actually really, really, really like. The comfort, 10 out of 10. The style, 10 out of 10. They're a little long in the back and I don't think they're that flattering. But I really love the front. The side is okay. The back is where it gets it gets bad. It gets a little bad. I'm gonna give these a solid eight. I think if you had a fuller butt, which is pretty easy because my butt is flat, you would love these. Hollister. I have a feeling these might not be the most flattering. I got these also in a 27. Oh my god, the girl gave me a discount. Oh, that's so sweet. They were originally 44. These are the worst shorts I have ever tried on. It partially could be because they don't fit, but like they fit my waist. They just do not fit down here. Like what is this? I'm giving these a two. I think if they fit right, I'd give them a four. I just do not like them. The material, everything. Uh. Oh my god. Next up, these are from Cotton On. These are longer shorts. 
which honestly I think could be very cute. These. Sorry, I didn't find a group or device named bedroom. They were forty-four dollars, and I got them in a size four. I actually love these. I love how they're high-waisted. Uh, th they're not like the most flattering on the butt. You know, it's okay. I think these are actually really, really cute. Especially if you want like long shorts or just a little spice. Like I feel like these are more fun. I'm gonna give these a solid nine out of 10. I love them. I hate to say it, but my winner, my absolute winner is the Levi's. They are expensive, yes. I would say the average price of shorts is like $50. These are 20 above that, but the $20 does give you comfort and they're just so flattering. Coming in really close is the American Eagle. So comfortable, love everything. They're just not as flattering. Third favorite are these baddies. Cotton on did me right. They're just, they're simply stylish. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you. And let me know if you want any other testing videos. I don't even know what this video was, but thank you for watching and I love you.